you know, back in the late 60s, uh, early 70s, snowmobiles got to be a really popular thing around here. You know, it seemed like everybody was buying them. And they were usually big sleds, you know, so you could take two or three people on them. And then a lot of times people would buy a little cutter that went on behind for hauling the kids because it was a family recreation thing. It wasn't, you know, the tearing around because the snowmobiles really weren't built for that. They were really big, heavy workhorses. Well, the little cutter was a popular thing, but it, this I ended up with from an auction sale. This uh, was just in my junk. And I used to use it they originally they had a fiberglass body on them. Well, when I bought it, it was just a bare frame like this, but I had made a flatbed for it and I used it behind a snowmobile uh, for hauling chainsaws and stuff like that and feed. You know, it worked good. It's a regular inch and three quarter ball hitch. And I had an old Polaris snowmobile, which I still have. I got a couple of old Polaris's, but uh, once I got into the dog sleds, they were much more economical to run than the, the old Polaris's. They, they use a lot of fuel, those old snowmobiles did. And it was constantly repairing on them. So it really wasn't safe to like go and check a trap line with one of them. I always had to carry snowshoes with because the chances are you're going to be walking home. But I, I still have those two snowmobiles and I might get one of them running just for the heck of it. But what I want to do with this these are those ash boards that I cut the other day and I want to make a flatbed for this again because the old one was just made out of plywood and it was pretty flimsy but these are a nice frame and they got good spring and the thing about them is they got really wide skis and now the ski you know they're wide this way but also the ski width is the same width as the wheels on my David Bradley so I thought oh this would be a slick little thing to have behind the David Bradley so, like I said, I'm going to make a, a flatbed out of it. I've got to wait until it gets warm enough so I can start the generator to cut them boards. Now, uh, Arctic Cat made them, but this one is either an Evinrude or a Johnson because it's painted red. But they're all very similar. The framework was all very similar in design. They had different styles of bodywork to them. But just as a utility trailer, I think it would work very well. But they've got, like I say, good suspension. And it's easy enough, you know, there's four tabs here that I can bolt into. And like I say, when I used it before, it worked fine. Uh, especially the fact that it's got the wide skis, it doesn't sink down, it pulls fairly easy. <laughs> but, like I said, I used to use it uh, years ago, but it just it was more economical to use the dogs. Uh, or safer, actually. Because <laughs> uh, the old snowmobiles were not that reliable. You know, you never really wanted to go out by yourself because the chances are you're going to be hoofing it. And like I say, that those old ones I had like the one that's got this 372 <coughs> Polaris Star engine in it. You know, it was one of the first Polaris. And it's a bear to start. It's a big single cylinder. It's a bugger to start. And it uses an outrageous amount of fuel. And it just, it, it, it's so prone to break it down. Uh, the reason I ended up with it, the guy had it up here driving it around and he got so disgusted with it you know because he was trying to keep up with the newer sleds and that thing just didn't work so he just abandoned it up here and then I picked up another one later that's got a smaller motor in it I think that's a JLO but I've really never been much into snowmobiles you know if I was using them I, I used them for packing a trail for their dog sled you know I'd make one trip around to pack a trail and then I was done with it because it was just too much work to keep that thing going. But oh, maybe I got time, I'll maybe fiddle around with it. But this, what I really want it for is behind the David Bradley. I think that would work pretty slick. You know, you could make a, 
uh, like four feet wide, maybe five feet long bed out of this ash. I think that would work handy. Little short sideboards on it. I wouldn't want to haul a lot of firewood or anything with it. You know, it really gets too small to be too useful for that, but for a lot of stuff, it'd be kind of handy. So I always got to think we could do something with it. But, like I say, I got a window where it's up. Got to get to like 10, 15 above, then I can maybe get the generator started so I can start working on these boards. But she's been a cold one lately, but I think tomorrow. Almost get 10 or 15 above. Then maybe do her.